happen is we're going to start on this end and move this way. We're going to try. Are you going to try? Yeah, it's the panel I painted. Wow. We get all kinds of people. How do people? The 45th President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. The day after the presidential inauguration, what was really more of a blow than just the news of the inauguration was the students' reactions. So I just saw it as a call to action that I needed to do more. I just got the vision the day after that I'm going to start this art club. Arts of Resistance and Resilience Club started about two years ago. Our advisor, Ms. Holloway, started a club to do artwork and displaying uh, social justice and like, you know, our perspective of society's problems through art. Even though it's like a small group of students, but every student in there, they actually care. The projects that we did were things like t-shirts, posters, ways to spread a message and to organize people around an idea. But I really didn't take to heart what this club was doing until the next year when we started on the mural project. We were contacted by Lauren Holloway out at Franklin High School who was working with a group of students who wanted to do something honoring the, the legacy of the Seattle chapter of the Black Panther Party. I saw a screening of My People Are Rising. It just struck me how so many of these young people that were doing this work were between the ages of 17 and 20. That Negroes will be organized for their own political interests. Well, I was a a junior uh, at uh, uh, Garfield High School at the time. We became the first chapter formed outside of the state of California in April of 1968. Many Panthers were young. We were, you know, we were basically kids. <laughs> I think that's probably the reason why we had no fear. We felt we could have an impact. The, the age was not a consideration. We were driven by uh, the conditions within our country and we were determined to make a difference. It's not made the same the same day, yeah. Okay. So many of our students That's at Franklin are directly impacted by a lot of these things that the current administration is doing. And I started thinking about like the same kind of sense of civic duty that the Panthers had that we could, you know, instill in these young people as a way of kind of saying, hey, if you don't like the way things are going in your community, in your world, you can do something about it. You could probably go up to the Angel Lake and put some there as well. Uh -huh. I, will I will put in this work. <laughs> we hear uh, uh, about how great America is, but you know, when you look and you peel back the layers, you see the people that are downtrodden, the people that have been, that have been suffering. We want to make sure that young people understand the history and legacy of the Black Panther Party, learn from past experiences, what we did that was successful, what we did that didn't work. Originally, I came in here and was like, yeah, I can change the world, it's easy, just make artwork. But then there was just so much behind it, like politically, how everything's systematically structured, and it's really hard to break that chain, and how people are just so concentrated in what their perspectives were and not really aware of anything else. The, just learning that, that change does not happen overnight, the things that activists were fighting for 50 years ago, we're still fighting for today, you know, and it's a long process and it's a lot of work. And it's work that cannot be done alone. You know, we must do it together and be organized about it. Art can be used as a tool for social change. You know, any kind of powerful social movement is gonna have its artists. To, to deliver that, that vision. This club, like, it inspires me to like, be more aware. It makes me realize like, I have a voice too and my voice matters. I've definitely become more aware of different problems in the world. Like I've paid a lot more attention to racism, sexism, homophobia. I think young people uh, here in the, the U.S. have become more inspired here as of late. Right fist in the sky, revolutionary. Black lives, black pride. Young people today face a, a daunting future. And yes, they need to be aware. Yes, they need to be uh, standing up and fighting now. They say we never made it, y'all. But we here. Can y'all make some noise for the Black Panther? <laughs> Thank you.
This was uh, when we were registering the vote for your campaign. I hope people, when they walk past the mural, that they will see these are people that sacrifice their life every day to make their communities better. When we look back at the history, we see youth who are making this change. A lot of people see us as people who have no voice because the people who are actually doing things are older than us, have more power than us. We can also create this change from our perspective. Walking to school, I know I'm gonna see it every day and be like, yeah, like this is this can be me, you know. It made me feel empowered. Um, I know like I have a small voice, but as I said again, like my voice does matter. There's a lot going on and I think there needs to be a change.